Hi everybody, I'm Hannah Hatcher. I'm one of the global educators at Jane Iredell. And today I'm gonna to walk you through a quick five minute makeup routine that's gonna get you all ready to go for your next virtual online web meeting. So I'm starting off by using my blending contour brush with a little bit of the Beyond Matte Liquid Foundation. I love the Beyond Matte product because it's a three in one. It's a primer, a foundation, and a concealer. So it's gonna do a lot of work for me in a very short amount of time. It also provides really amazing coverage without looking fake or too heavy. It has some peptide technology in here as well as hyaluronic acid to give the skin that really beautiful natural finish glow. In the areas where I have a little bit of breakout activity, I'm going to use my brush with a little bit more of the Beyond Matte and I'm just going to stipple it right over that area to give it more of that concealer like quality. Once this is done, I like to top my liquid foundation with a little bit of powder. This step is completely optional, but I'm 100% obsessed with our amazing base loose mineral powder, so I tend to use it every time. I also find that when I'm working with any sort of camera, whether it be a laptop camera or an actual digital camera, a little bit of powder helps take away any visible shine on your skin. So I'm just using my chisel powder brush and I'm applying just the lightest, sheerest amount of amazing base right over the top of my Beyond Matte. Now I wanna add just a little bit of dimension to my skin. So I'm gonna use a fan brush and a darker shade of Pure Press Face, or you can use our contour kit. I'm using the shade of Autumn and Pure Pressed, and we're gonna do simple contouring in E's and threes. If you could write the number three, then you already have this technique nailed down. I, using the same brush, my fan brush, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Flawless Pure Press, Pure Press Blush, which is one of my favorite shades has a little bit of pink, a little bit of peach, and the slightest bit of brown to make it the perfect neutral. I'm gonna pop a big smile, and right on the apples of the cheeks, I'm just going to wisp a little bit of that Flawless Pure Press Blush. Now I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that Flawless, hold my fan brush horizontal, and right in the crease of my eye, just pop a little bit of color. I don't have time to do a full eyeshadow look today, but this will definitely kind of do the trick for the time being. Now I wanna balance out my brows. So I'm going to use the Retractable Brow Pencil in Dark Brunette. And just in the areas where my brows are a little bit more sparse, where I over tweeze them as a teen, I'm just going to fill in my brow area. Once I have the shape, I'm going to take my spoolie and just lightly brush them through to make them look really soft and natural. I'm gonna repeat the same on the other side. What I love about this pencil is it has such a small pencil tip that I can almost create like microblade like strokes. So they look really natural and really clean. Remember, brush your brows up and over. Perfect. Now I can start working on mascara. So here I'm gonna start with my Pure Lash Lash Conditioner. This is going to help strengthen and condition my lashes as well as prep them to receive the mascara that I'm about to put on top. And then I've chosen Pure Lash Pure Lengthening Mascara in Jet Black to help create that definition around my eyes. I love this brush. It really separates and creates really beautiful definition for the lash area. Perfect. Now I'm gonna finish off with a lip. I'm going to use Lip Drink. It's a great light tinted lip balm with an SPF 15. I'm using Flirt. Has a really cute baby pink color to it. And then I'm gonna to top that with a little bit of Pink Glacé Pure Gloss Lip Gloss. One last step. Lock all of your makeup down with our hydration spray. And now you're ready for your next virtual meeting.